stuck at home and looking for some interesting things to do with some common household items? Well, come check out this awesome experiment in today's Science Short. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Science Short. My name is Christian, and today we're going to be doing a really cool experiment that I like to call Technic Color Milk. And as you can tell by the color of my lab coat, I love when things get colorful. So to do this, we're just going to need a few very simple household ingredients, things that you probably have at home. First, we're going to start with some whole milk. Right? It's very important to have whole milk because the fat content in this milk is what's really going to make this experiment shine. We also need some standard dish soap, an array of different food coloring, as well as some Q-tips, and perhaps even a little cup or container to help hold our dish soap. So once you get your materials started, we'll go ahead and show you how it's done. All right. So once you have everything ready, we're going to go ahead and show you how this experiment is done. Now what we're trying to do with our Technicolor milk, we're going to show how fat is going to react with soap. Now soap is very important, especially nowadays, because it's going to help break down a lot of those icky germs and stuff that you don't want. But if you actually want to see that in action, it's going to be doing the same thing with the fat content that we have in milk. And to actually demonstrate that, we're going to add a little bit of food coloring so you can really see this spectacular experiment shine. All right, and now for the star of our show, the milk. Now you wanna make sure you're using whole milk during this experiment, because whole milk is gonna have a higher fat content, and that fat is what we need to make this experiment work. Now you wanna make sure you're adding just enough milk to cover the bottom surface of your dish or plate or whatever you're using. Uh, anywhere between one to two cups, any extra that you have, you can go ahead and put back in the gallon. From there, you're also going to need a little bit of dish soap. So I have a tiny cup here that I filled with a little bit of soap. You don't need too much, um, but just enough to maybe fill the bottom of a small cup like this. And lastly, you're gonna need some food coloring. Now the food coloring is what's going to actually show during our experiment. So if you have multiple colors, it's always going to be nice, but you can do this if you just have one color. With each of the food coloring that you have, take each color and drop a couple of drops near the center of the dish. Now you want to make sure that you don't splash too much or mix these colors because uh, that's going to make the experiment not look as cool towards the end. If you have a pipette or an eyedropper, it does make it a little bit easier for you to drip these in. Right, so I take a little bit of blue, a little bit of red, and a tiny splash of yellow added into our dish. All right, now what you're gonna do is take a Q-tip that you have or cotton swab, uh, and with this, you're just going to dip a little bit into the soap, right? All right, just so you get a little bit of soap there on the end, not too much. And then for the show, take this soapy end of the Q-tip, dip it into the milk, and you're gonna watch what's gonna happen. All these colors are going to shoot and spread apart. Now what's happening there is again, the fat molecules or the fatty outer layer of the milk molecules are gonna get broken down when the soap is going to hit it. That breakdown of the molecules allows for the food coloring to very easily spread and flow all across the surface of the milk and it creates this beautiful color explosion, our Technic Color Milk. Now again, if you have multiple colors, you can do these multiple times. You can start dipping your color into different sections of the plate, watching as the explosions continue to happen all right, guys, and there you have it, another experiment you guys can actually try at home. Make sure if you do try this, drop a couple pictures in the comments down below. Also, stay tuned to all of our social media channels for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey, everybody, Christian here. I want to just thank you for watching our content. If you enjoyed, please make sure you hit that like button down below. Also, as you guys know, we are going through some very tough times, and our hearts at the Science Center goes out to everyone that's been affected by this coronavirus outbreak. And as most of you also know, we are a nonprofit organization. We rely very heavily on live programs as well as admissions in order to keep the Science Center lights on. So because we're not open, we do need your help. If you enjoyed our content, please consider hitting that donate button down below and giving anything you can. One dollar, five dollars, any amount will help us continue our mission to open every mind to science.